So you need to remember which orientation you loaded your gel. For this gel, I'm actually going to have to, this is how I loaded it left to right, I'm actually going to have to lay it down the other way to get the spatula between the two plates, and then you're just going to crack it up and separate the two plates. You want to be careful. Your gel will stick to one of the two plates, and mine has stuck to the smaller plate. And once you get it separated, one of the corners of your gel will probably be sticking up a little bit. You've got this dish of transfer buffer, and you can try to peel your gel off. It's probably easier to just lay your gel and the plate into the dish. Before you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you mark the orientation of your gel. So I loaded it left to right. I had some empty wells on the right side. So I'm going to notch the lower left corner of my gel with a spatula so that I always know what orientation it's in. And I'm going to plop that into this dish. And I'll let that soak in that buffer for a couple minutes. <clears throat> Right, you're going to set up your bench to get ready to put together your transfer. Put a piece of saran wrap on your bench top just to keep it clean. Then you're going to want to make sure that you have one of these sandwiches. So this blue piece of paper you're not going to use. Then there's a thick piece of filter paper, a thin smooth piece of nitrocellulose membrane, and another piece of filter paper. The second piece of blue paper you're not going to use, so you can get rid of those. You can go ahead and put each of these filters and the membrane into your dish to get them soaking in the transfer buffer. You also have two sponges. You want to soak those in your transfer buffer. All right, so then if you follow the instructions in your lab manual, you're going to wear gloves so that you don't get any fingerprints, oils, dirt on any of these pieces. You're going to open up this transfer cassette, so open it, and lay the clear side down. Okay, the clear side is the side that your proteins are going to migrate towards. And then we're going to assemble this sandwich. You start with a sponge, lay it down, <clears throat> then you need one of your pieces of filter paper. sticking to my gel. There we go. Piece of filter paper, lay that down. And then remember we're moving the proteins from our gel to our membrane, so next we want membrane. And at this point you want to try to avoid any bubbles, so you want to lay this down smoothly on top of that filter paper. Then you're ready for your gel, and you'll want to be careful with your gel because it is a little bit fragile. So you want to support the entire gel with your hands. Make sure that lower left notch is in the lower left corner. And as you can see here, if you were able to zoom in, I've actually torn my gel, so I hope that doesn't happen to you. Let's see what I can do to fix it. Lay that down on the membrane, and then I'm going to try to get this little rip fixed. Martin, you can hit pause while I try to fix this.